Alrighty guys, I'm using the GoPro to do the intro today because it's windy out here and I have a new mic. Uh, so if you see little fuzzy things in the corner, that's what that is. But we're out here at Volano, there's a lot of people out here and uh, we're gonna be trying to hook up into some fish. I wanted to get out here a little earlier to you know, get closer to the rocks, but we didn't get out here early enough. So we're just gonna have to work with it. Uh, but I think we should have some good time. I did bring one of my rods to throw some artificial with. We've got shrimp as well and a bait, or a bait caster, a bait net, cast net. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get going and uh, see if we can't get something. For right now, I'm gonna get the shrimp defrosted and in the water so we can cast off, see if we can't get some bait fish. First uh, first fish of the morning, a little hard-headed catfish, barely hooked. There we go. It's kind of windy out here. Hopefully you guys, uh, this new mic's doing well. You guys think the mullet are running? Woo! All right, we can keep the mullet. Everything else, throw back. Yeah, we got like ten. We don't need. <laughs> we don't need that many. Need a bigger bucket. Yeah. That's why I offered him some because of we. Yep, straight down. No, 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 closer, closer. Like, like, go a little bit under, so you're gonna do this? Yeah, just like that, and then down, perfect, there you go. Right off the head, just right through, down, quick, quick motion. All the way through, all the way through. There you go. And then cut them into inch size pieces. Yummy. That's how you attract sharks. That is exactly how you attract sharks. That's why we do it in the water. Right behind me, good call. Oh shit, he's got a tarpon. Did you see that? He's got a tarpon. Rock? Yeah, he's got a tarpon. I just saw it jump. Holy shit. Did you see that? Tarpon. That's what that was. Holy shit. I've never seen one from the rocks before. All right, Kimbra was hooked up into something. The rod was pretty bent, so we're going to check and see what she's got. Still got it? Yeah. Still got it. Arm's getting tired. Arm's getting tired. Come on, this ain't nothing. Oh, you hear that drag? Oh, oh my God. You got it. You got it. Keep your Keep your You got it. I'm so weak. <laughs> you got. You got it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. All right, go ahead. There you go. All right, there it is, whatever it is. Oh, shit. Hang on. Hey, hold the GoPro. No, I got it. Keep reeling, keep reeling. Back up, back up, back up. Oh, keep going, keep going. This is a new fish for you. Yeah, back up, back up. Red? No, keep backing, keep backing. Don't, don't reel, just back up, just back up. Hang on, hang on. Oh yeah. Woo! All right, look at that. My arm's tired. Your arm's tired? Yeah, these are hard fighting fish. All right, go get the pliers. Woo! Nice. Look at this Good fish. All right, you wanna unhook it? Yeah. All right, we're gonna unhook it. Pliers? No, no need? I don't think so. I don't know. Here, at least we're okay. Does he have teeth? Uh, I don't think he does. Hang on. We'll check. That uh, could be completely wrong, so we're not going to stick our, our hand in his mouth yet. No. Yeah, no. Just got to pop it out the fat. Oh, yeah. He's definitely got teeth. Yeah. All right. Shoot. I can't think of the name. Just like that on the tail. Grab him. Oh, see, see how I'm holding? Yeah. Oh. Ow, 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 ow. 
Just one? Yeah. All right, hang on. You got them? My arms are really tired. Matt, grab the fish grips. They're in the front grab pocket. Just, okay, so we're gonna look up the regulations on this fish real quick, because I think we can keep them. Matthew's gonna record that fish, and she's gonna talk about it. So I'm gonna look up the regulations real quick. All right, so we were actually talking about leaving, and uh, we noticed the rod is almost was almost bent over, and Kimber pulls out this. So it's a Jack Revol. I had it wrong. It's a Jack Revol, not an Alamico Jack. It's a Jack Revol. It's an unregulated species. We're gonna keep it, and we're gonna do this to catch a cook. And I guess we'll stay here if the yeah. bites turn it on. Uh, uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm satisfied. Yeah. We're gonna stay here. Yeah. First, first catch of the day. First catch. Yeah, first solid. Oh no, no, first overall. Yeah. Well, without. No, no, I caught a little catfish while you guys were gone, but it was like I'm not gonna count that. First fish of the day goes to Kimbra. Woo! Solid fish. We're keeping it. Awesome. You guys are about to go on my forehead, and we're gonna throw the bait back out there. Matthew, you're yeah. up next. He is so beautiful. He is super yeah. slimy. Boom. We're going back out because, Woo! well, because she just caught a jack of all. I, I knew what the name of that fish was. I don't know why I said Alamico Jack. I've seen plenty of those. They're all over YouTube. That's like all anybody ever catches. Like, I, I knew that. I That, that was dumb. I, I, I knew what that fish was. So for everybody laughing at me, yes, yes, I deserve it. But. I do know the name. I just couldn't think of it. I'd see, I've seen plenty of those and black tip age videos and uh, well, I'm blanking, but there's a couple of others in uh, Florida that, you know, do YouTube. On my rod too. On your rod. Well, that's because we always have big things on your rod. So whenever, if we ever catch anything on your rod, it's always gonna be big. All right, so it's pretty windy right now. Um, hopefully you guys can hear us well and it's not like it's not you know blowing out your speakers i know in the past couple of videos that was a huge problem so luckily we fixed that or at least i hope we did Thanks, this is a pretty good test to see how this mic does uh but uh, we're gonna pack it up head home go from there we weren't really getting any bites except for that jack of all a couple other things um yeah we're gonna go from there overall pretty good day of fishing we're gonna do the catch and cook back at home with her jack and uh yeah see you guys there all right so we're now at home kimber's gonna flay up her fish that's the overall size of the fish. It's like about 18 inches, so we're gonna take that away. And now she's gonna fillet it up. Here is our Jack Creval. Um, that's the meat right there. The first thing I noticed when I was, uh, you know, helping fillet this fish one is it's very dense meat. It, it kind of feels like tuna almost. It's very dense. Um, so we're gonna head to the store and get some things, some spices and whatnot. There's the jack of fall and all the stuff in there. Um, cut out all the blood and whatnot. We definitely should have bled it first. I read that online, awkward. But uh, yeah, we're gonna head to the store, get some stuff. So we've got our fish in a bowl here. Uh, this is pink rock salt, uh, Himalayan pink rock salt. So we got this in a bowl. Uh, it's lukewarm, kind of, kind of on the colder side. Uh, we're gonna put the fish in here, let it soak for just a little bit. It's gonna draw the blood out and uh, we're gonna get all the seasonings ready over there. So we've got our bowl to put the fish in. We've got some Lowry seasoned salt. And th this recipe, by the way, I got this from Rad Real Fishing. Uh, he had a video on Jack Carval, you know, cooking. And uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna follow that. A little bit of Old Bay. Some Cavender's all-purpose Greek seasoning. A little bit of chili powder, that's my own twist. And some cayenne pepper. We also have some mm -hmm. olive oil that we're going to be putting on the fish so the seasonings stick to them. But we're gonna wait for the fish to get done in the salt and then we're gonna mix it all in there with a little bit of oil and then just eyeball the spices and go from there. We got our fish cut into strips here, um, just like rat fishing did. So we're gonna add just a little bit of oil here uh, to help the spices stick to the fish. Just a little bit. Make sure to get all the oil over all of the fish. go. All right, and then we're going to add some seasoning room. We got some uh, all Greek or all purpose Greek seasoning. We're going to add in there. <laughs> First time we're doing this, so we're just kind of doing it to our liking, seeing how, seeing how fast stuff comes out. All right, and then we've got some Lowry's seasoned salt as well. <laughs> Add in there. I'm gonna do a little bit there. All right, we're also gonna do a little bit of Old Bay. A lot of it. Okay. 
just a little bit of cayenne pepper. There we go. I'm gonna season these all up. All right, so we're just gonna mix all the spices up with this fish here. Make sure that they're all coated nice and evenly, more or less, with the uh, spices. We added a lot of Old Bay just because we really, really like Old Bay. But uh, here we go, that's what we're working with there. We're gonna wait for our oil to heat up and then we're gonna fry them up. Or well, yeah, fry them up. All right, so we only want enough oil on the bottom of the pan just to, just to barely cover it. And after it's nice and hot, we're gonna lay our strips. So these are ones that I lightly breaded. Um, all I did was add just a smidge of flour on top of the seasoning to get kind of that crispiness. So we're gonna try these separate from the other ones and uh, see how they taste. So we're gonna let these cool and then we'll do a taste test. All right, so this is now the fish that we have. This is the unbreaded fish and then this is the breaded, breaded fish. Uh, Matthew's gonna try some right now. So this is the unbreaded that he's gonna try. You can just take whatever. There you go. Thoughts? Hmm. good. Very thick, yeah. 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 I like it. Nice, juicy taste. Yeah. Yeah, I like how it's, it's a very dense fish, which I wasn't really expecting. Um, but uh, overall, pretty good. Now he's going to try the uh, breaded, just a little piece of that. Yeah, and a lot more flavor. Yeah, with the breaded. Mm -hmm. So I added a little bit of flour to these. Um, Definitely gonna do that in the future. I'll probably actually, I really like how this tastes, so I think I'll do this with honestly probably a lot of fish. I'll just keep them up and then put them in the oil there. Um, so I'm gonna try some now. So this is the uh, oil, hang on, I'll do the unbreaded first. So I'll try this one. Yeah, it tastes like the texture is very, very thick. It tastes like, I don't know. It's, it's like tuna almost. It's very dense, very thick, uh, which I really enjoy. I don't like mushy fish, like the uh, lady fish that we did a little, a little while ago. That was a very mushy fish. I didn't really like that, but uh, this is very, very thick and dense. Um, so we're gonna try some of the breaded now. Yeah, that's right. There's definitely a lot more flavor with these ones. So in the future, we're definitely gonna do breaded. And uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this, like, share, and subscribe. Tell your friends about it. We're going to be doing some more Catch and Cooks. See you guys later.